and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, if you are new to this channel, please do remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Today is Manchester United 1, West Ham United 1. Yes, guys, two points dropped. We are in the top four. Of overlapping Leicester by one point, level on points with Chelsea as we speak, since they have a match with Liverpool. Let's just hope it remains like that and we stay third because of goal difference. But to be honest with you guys, terrible performance, poor performance, lackluster performance. We look jaded, side to side passing. And what else we had? We had slow slow possession of football let's just hope that it remains like that and we remain third today was poor guys i have to say that i was totally disgusted with today's performance in terms of how we played lackluster performance lethargic we look tired we look shattered side to side passing passing going nowhere passing without intent passing with no meaning just slow today is we look completely tired and it's, it's warning signs for us because the last three games that we've played, we haven't been at our best. Not at all, guys. And to see that today, short gave me a lot of worrying signs. A lot of red flags, guys. I don't know what you guys thought about today's game. But in my personal opinion, I thought that today's game was just a bit off today, as always. Off like the fridge, like off like the expired milk in the fridge, the expired bread in the fridge, the expired cheese in the fridge that's just smelling off the fridge. It was hard to watch at times in that for that whole 90 minutes. I watched a 90 minutes game where Manchester United were not dominant. It was more of what West Ham was doing towards us. And we had a few lucky breaks. A few moments there. But let's go straight into that first 20 minutes. Poor. We wasn't. We looked like we was in charge for 20 minutes. But at the same time, was we in charge? West Ham was pretty comfortable. And at times, West Ham tested us. Tested our goalkeeper. And then Paul Papa had a moment of madness where a player, Declan, I believe it was Declan Rice, who took a long shot. And Paul Papa started taking one to the face, one for the team, a black eye, you know. Decides to just have his hands up to cover his face. He, You do know that right now, yeah. The, the, the rules of, of, of handball has changed. If the ball hits you, regardless if you had no intention of handballing it or whether you were protecting yourself, it goes as a handball. And as soon as that happened, I thought to myself, oh, Pogba. Your main, your your main United haters, your pundit haters, Graham Sooners are gonna come for you right now for just that moment of stupidity. I call that a moment of madness, and he knew himself that he should have not done that. He knew he effed up there right there, but boy, 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 we went into the first half one nil down against West Ham, and I just thought to myself, bottle job tendency right there showing with Manchester United. It was poor. Going to the second half. Mason Greenwood, beautiful interplay with Martial, scores, shows his ruthlessness, makes it 1-1. But from there, guys, we did nothing. We did nothing. We was poor in the second half. It was more like it was West Ham versus West Ham. It, it, it felt like it was a game for us that Manchester United tried to manage. And the manager himself tried to manage. Just go out there, guys. We'll see what happens. Just try and manage your way through the game. And we should not have done that. It was poor. Um, and guys, um, going towards going into the Leicester game, how much confidence do you have, guys? How much? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Just let me know exactly. Do you feel confident enough that we can go to Leicester and just get a point and just finish fourth? I don't know about finishing third because Chelsea can play their last game and win and finish third. You guys tell me because today's match was wasn't the best and we look tired i don't know what's going on now in fact our way the way of playing we just look like we just don't know what we're doing our interplay was rubbish all these intricate passes it just annoys me because the basic things we're not doing right guys you let me know exactly what you thought of the match in the match in in the description the comment below we go straight into our man of the match today guys i would the only reason why i'm doing man of the match because i never done man of the match last week is I'm just going to give it to Greenwood, just the goal scorer, just because he scored. Apart from that, no one else really deserved man of the match. Man of the match shouldn't be awarded today because I just don't think there was a man of the match. And we have our donkey of the match today. Our donkey of the match. 
Although to miss three most false two men so came off for the second half. Today has to go to Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford today, the simple things he did wrong. The the, the intricate pa integrate passes. Stop it. Just, just stop it. Play those simple things right. At times Marcus Rashford he tries to go for these fancy, fancy passes, fancy one twos. And you, you look stupid doing that because at the end of the day, you're giving it straight to the opposition. He just wasn't at it today. It was poor for Marcus Rashford. Straight into our player rating, guys. We go straight into it. We have in goal today, David De Gea. I'm going to have to give him a sit five today. Uh, it was just a best, basic average performance. And we had today, Timothy Fosu Mensah as well. Give him a five. And, and of course... The second half was played by Aaron Wan Saka, Spider Wan, Spider Wan. Today as well, it was just it was just basic, average five. Lindelof, Lindelof today, he was Lindelof, he was off. It, at times he got moved to by Antonio, as as well. Today you get a five, my brother. Harry Maguire, another five. Another five. It was average. It was pretty much basic. We had. Brandon Williams, who played left back today. I'm going to have to give him a five as well. It, it, it was basically an average performance. Wasn't that great going forward. Looked a bit shaking when it came to defending. We had Manny Magic, another five as well. I don't know, man. Magic today looked a bit slow, guys. I, I just don't know what your opinion of that was. But he looked a bit slow. He wasn't at his best today. His passes was a bit off. Same as Pogba. Pogba's passes was off. His decision-making was off his moment of madness as well, was just a bit of a moment of madness, and him as well would get a five. Right in front of them on the wing, we had Mason Greenwood, our man of the match. I'm going to have to give him a six just because he scored. Just because he scored. And we had Bruno Fernandes, a poor performance by Bruno Fernandes. Another poor game. I'm going to have to give him a five as well. Marcus Rashford, I'm going to have to give him a four for the, the amount of stuff that he's done that was wrong. Better or not next time, because to, our next game is very, very vital. It's crucial, guys. It's crucial times. Up front, Anthony Marshall, five, although he got the assist, but still, wasn't at his best today. He could have thought he could have done better. Yeah, and our manager rating today, Oli, five. Oli, you need to start going to the touchline. Stop sitting down and relaxing like everything is good. You need to start drilling your teams, because all of this... Go on, Rashford. Rashford. Go on. Better luck next time, Rashford. I know you made that pass and it was wrong, but I'm a patient and a nice guy. I'm going to let you make mistakes a thousand times, even if it costs me games, because I'm nice. You need to be ruthless, my guy, bro. You need to be ruthless. Sitting on the bench sometimes annoys me. Just go on that pitch and stop barking and instructing players to do their job. Because that's what they need sometimes, because they mess around too much. Too much messing around, guys. And that's it for today, guys. This match reaction is done. Because I don't I don't know. We got one more game. We have one more game against Leicester. And we need to win or, or draw. But there's so much red flags, guys. There's just a bottle job tendency in our team. And it really robbies me. I don't know what you guys think. Please, guys, let me know who you thought was the man of the match. And let me know who your donkey of the match is. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button, guys. You know what I mean. Let's just hope that next game against Leicester is a win. Because we surely need this win to cement at least fourth place or third place. Because I would like to see that happen. Guys, exactly let me know what you thought of today's game in the, in the, in the, in the comments below. Just comment as much as you like. And remember to subscribe to Reg United TV. You know what I mean? Keep it united, guys. And keep it Reg United as always. Scrap, blah, I'm out.